Now though for our location report, an appropriate one too since next Saturday is boat race day. True Blue is all about the boat race, specifically the ill-fated 1987 boat race. On a cold day in March, Kirsty Young went down to the Thames to investigate. The annual boat race between Oxford and Cambridge universities is watched by millions of people worldwide. But in 1986, Oxford suffered a crushing defeat, their first in 11 years. A film called True Blue will now tell the story of Oxford's comeback. And they've asked the legendary top coach, Daniel Topolsky, to train the actors. Topolsky was responsible for moulding an inexperienced and demoralised reserve crew into a winning team after a group of American students pulled out just six weeks before the race. So how difficult is it to recreate a historic event in our sporting history? Keep holding the boats there, that's good. Our whole brief right from the start was we're going to make this authentic. I'm, I do want it to sound right and feel right. And I think the actors have been fantastic. And they, they started training five weeks before filming started. And they were training four hours a day out on the water, and they were unbelievable. Dominic West plays the Oxford president, Donald MacDonald. The nice thing about being on film is you get pampered a hell of a lot. And so when we're out here, you can you know, start shouting about your makeup and hair, which I don't suppose normal rowers do. The film focuses on the most turbulent weeks in the history of the boat race, when rows over training and selection methods made headlines in the national press. It was a very bruising, horrible experience, the whole thing. I suppose the film has reopened its sores a little bit, not so much from my side, but certainly from the, the, uh, the people who are involved on the rebel side, if you like. They're feeling a bit uneasy about it, and I think they, you know, they're worried about how they're going to be portrayed. Um, but I, I, I keep on trying to get across that it, it is a drama, it's a dramatic representation of, of things that happen, so it's not going to mirror exactly the events. Here we go. Apart from broken nose, I'm very much different from real Dan Topolsky. On the other hand, he helped me a lot with technical things about rowing, about coaching, and I've been observing him as, as well, and I've used things I saw him do, and I've stolen from him maybe more than he knows, poor man. <laughs> Aside from actually having an actor play you in the movie, you are actually playing another character in the movie. How did that come about? Yesterday. <laughs> uh, the guy who was going to play it was uh, uh, former Conservative uh, Minister of Sport, Colin Moynihan. Right. He was the umpire of that race, um, an ex-Oxford Cox, and he's quite busy. So they said, get in the boat and do it. Two crews are there, the crowds are there, there's a real sense of, a, of, of the boat race uh, set up. And that's quite nerve wracking because it takes you back to all those boat races. There's also the cameras stuck in your face as well. Okay, hold it there, Dan. That's good there. Right, stand by. Director Ferdinand Fairfax has his work cut out to reach that fine balance between truth and fiction. For every person that you talk to, there's a different version of the truth. People say, oh, that's not accurate. What they mean is that their version of the truth isn't accurate. The big points of the story are all there exactly as they happen. But I think that what is interesting, it's been interesting since Shakespeare did it, you take what did happen and turn it into something that is illustrative about the human condition and about what we want to see as drama, hopefully. Keep holding the boats there, that's good. One of the main problems facing the crew is to recreate the heavy thunder and rain that took place in the actual 1987 race. As they lined up for the start, there was a thunderclap and a flash of lightning. And what we're trying to do is to recreate the rain. Uh, what we're actually encountering is a lot of people saying, well, Gov, we can't cover the river in a lot of rain. So I'm getting a little touchy about how I achieve the shots across the river. It's an aggravating process. <laughs> It remains to be seen whether the film will match the success of that Oxford crew back in 1987 who fought against all the odds to produce one of the most emotional moments in the history of rowing. And they're winning by some three lengths as the flag goes down and Oxford have won. They've overcome all those extraordinary difficulties and how happy they are and can you blame them? 
True Blue will open later in the year.